Hello everyone. On our last video, we started to uh, work on our app in HTML5 uh, on top of the uh, jQuery mobile framework. And this is what I've got so far. A home screen, a resume screen, social media screen, nothing inside of those screens yet, but I started to build my structure. I have all the pieces that I'm going to work with on my home screen. I just uh, added them there so that I can uh, put them in the correct place later. And now, later is now. What I also want to do is deactivate the clickability of the button when we're in a particular screen, and that's good user interface design, also known as UX or user experience. What I mean by this is if I'm on the resume screen, I don't need to click on resume button anymore. And what I've done is I've made it already highlighted. So when I'm on home, I don't need to be able to click on home anymore. I'm already home. We could remove the button, but that won't be uh, helpful because if we remove the home button and only have resume and social, if I go to resume, am I also going to remove the resume button? Then I'll have home and social. And if I go to social, will I remove social? Then I'll have home and resume, and your users will get confused. So instead, we will just deactivate the link. It's actually pretty easy. We're not going to remove the link. We're going to re deactivate the link. So on line 32, we've got the, the home button on the home screen. It's active, but we, know, we don't want to make it clickable. So we're going to change our href to simply say pound. This means it doesn't go anywhere, but it still acts like a link. Because all of this works whenever there is a text, which is a link, which is inside a UL, which is inside of a data role of navbar. jQuery translates that into a button. We need to do the same thing for in the resume screen. We're on the resume screen. The resume button is active, but it does not need to be clickable. So line 134, remove the link, keep the pound. Very important. And then lastly, under the social screen, we're in the social screen. The button is active, but remove the link. Line 177, save. All right. Now what we want to do is transfer some of the widgets that we created previously, which are all in page one. We don't need them all there. We need them in the different pages. We created something called the collapsible set on a previous video, line 57 to 73. But we actually need it in the resume screen. So select that whole chunk, 57 to 73, cut it, and then paste it in your resume content area. Here we go, data rule content, after main text, we'll fix that in a bit. But paste that in there, collapsible set. Instead of it saying um, main text here, let's add an H2, and we'll say, um, um, learn about me. Section header, line 136, we'll say education. 141, we'll say employment. What else goes in a resume? Education, employment, and uh, maybe awards. Save. Check it in the web browser. So if I go to resume, well, first of all, I remove that widget collapsible over to resume. So if you click resume, now we've got learn all about me. Click these, and they'll open up to show you content. I want to, however, add a little parameter change, line 134, data role, collapsible, C data collapsed, false, we'll say true, we'll say we want these things to be closed until someone clicks on them, and doesn't that make sense? We don't want to see the employment until we click on it, we don't want a whole block of text yet. So. Those are set to true. The big difference is I'm going to add under education a new paragraph and I'll say um, Ashford, Univer Ashford University 
I'll say UCSD and Southwestern College. Preview it. When I go to resume, these things are not open until I tap. Then they open up to show me content, which could be pictures, text, uh, bullet points, uh, anything basically. I'm going to fill in a little bit of content just so that I have something to look at. Let's see, we can say. Uh, I'm going to add a break here so that on the next line I can write um, uh, B A in business in 2011. I'll we'll say here a B S in uh, computer, oops, APS in computer science, 2001, and then here we'll say an A, A in graphic design. 1996. This time I'm gonna, uh, I can't wait to see how it looks on a device, so I will actually run it on a device rather than testing it in my built in web browser. Skip the splash screen. Loads up our content here. We can scroll around and such. Tap resume. We go to the resume screen. Tap these to open them up looks nice. Of course you can fill these in as you see fit, add pictures and the rest, but we're well on our way to developing our app. And this is our Android app based on uh, HTML5.